Okay, more on what we showed you right before the break. The United Nations agency that is dedicated to empowering women reportedly deleted a social media post that condemned the Hamas attacks on Israel. UN Women says it unequivocally condemns all violence against women and girls. They call it gender-based violence, especially when it's used as a weapon of war. But watch closely as this woman from the agency tries to respond. She is the group's deputy executive director about why she can't specifically condemn the actions of Hamas on October 7th. Watch this. Indeed, UN Women always supports impartial, independent investigations into any serious allegations of gender-based or sexual violence. And within the UN family, these investigations are led by the Office of the High Commissioner of Human Rights. And just to provide a little bit of context in terms of UN Women's role, UN Women specifically provides and has extensive knowledge on gender-based violence and provides and supports investigations as we do with all UN investigations. And so consequently, in this context and within the UN system, it is the Independent International Commission of Inquiry, which for us has the mandate to investigate all alleged violations. It is absolutely important for the rights, for the needs, for the protection, for the dignity, uh, for the survivors of violence to be supported throughout a process. And that's why we work through these globally mandated mechanisms. That notwithstanding, we understand and certainly we encourage and support national level efforts, the ones that you've heard about today, the civil commission in Israel, which has brought together women's organizations to document gender-based atrocities impartially. Um, our work will be on the backside of the Independent International Commission. Did you get that? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh Lordy. Um, and you saw, I hope you saw in the tease, because we showed what happened right after that, because Bianca Goldregarda said, um, you know, excuse me, can, can you just, do you condemn Hamas or not? And then it went into a whole nother word, word salad sort of, explanation with, with words like context and providing and knowledge and supplying and supplementing. Tommy Lauren, host of Outkicks, Tommy Lauren is Fearless and a Fox News contributor, of course. Tommy, welcome. We thought of you when we looked at this. I mean, you know, for real people who watch what happened, why can't this woman just call it what it is? How did the founders of the United Nations, do you think this is what they had in mind? Well, I looked up the priorities of UN women, and they're supposed to be a global champion for women and girls, and part of their priority is speaking out against violence against women, gender-based violence, as you already stated. But what that representative said there was a whole lot of nothing. nothing. She attempted to confuse viewers with a lot of words, as you said, a word salad. But when you boil it down, she's just refusing to condemn Hamas. But this doesn't surprise me because the UN as a whole, at least for the last 10 plus years, mm -hmm. has been an activist organization. And I would say not only UN women and the UN, but the feminist movement in general, at least for the last five years, has been made up of nothing but activists who seem to care about abortion rights and abortion rights mm -hmm. only, not about actual women. So their priorities, to me, they can try to confuse us with a lot of words, but it's pretty clear that they don't stand up for all women, just the women that their certain activists seemingly support. You know, you just have to wonder, I mean, what is the goal of this organization that this woman works for? I, I mean, I think about the, the Uyghurs, you think about you know, all of these different, you know, what have they done to make any of these situations better? Because they, they have no ability, it appears, to actually call out the kind of clear behavior and violations of what they're supposed to be speaking out against. It, it, it's so pathetic, Tommy, and, and billions of dollars support this organization. I mean, if you're one of these women who got, you know, think of Shani Loke, who was thrown half naked into the back of a pickup truck by Hamas and paraded around the neighborhood in front of people. This woman, can she give her anything more than, than, you know, than just complete platitudes? Like she read them off of some kind of document? 
Right. I, I think defund the U.N. is something that needs to be discussed, because you're right, they, they talk a lot, they meet, and they pat themselves on the back. It's a giant virtue signal. But when it comes down to it, they really do nothing to advance human rights. And if we're talking about U.N. women and furthering the rights and empowerment of women, I don't know if they've taken a look at the Hamas charter or yeah. Sharia or fundamental Islamic law, but not very favorable to women in any context whatsoever. So they should be the loudest voices, especially if they call themselves U.N. women, speaking out against Hamas, the atrocities of Hamas. And if they care about the Palestinian women, they should also be speaking out against Hamas and the atrocities That's that right. Hamas commits, not only to Israelis, but to their own people. Yeah. So L it's time to, to maybe defund the UN, Gaza. take a look at their priorities. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, Voices of Gaza is just a litany of young women who live in Gaza begging for freedom from Hamas. Apparently, uh, this woman is not aware uh, of that situation, or if she is, she's willing to cover it up. So, um, crazy. Uh, Tommy, thank you very much. Thanks for jumping in to respond to that. Good to have you with us. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.